Here we go. So this is the fire grand charm, the new fire grand charm. These are going to be very valuable. I'm curious to see what the drop rates are going to be on these. So I'm definitely going to have to play around on the PTR and keep an eye and ear out to really everything going on in terms of everybody who's playing and see how much they're dropping around the community. Maybe do a community poll or something or check the community polls that like larger creators do and everything like that too. So I think there's six in total of these. It also reduces your own reduces your own resistance as well. And this Sunder, that means that it's now a breakable immunity for them. So that's the fire one, that's pretty cool. So I guess all the characters on here are gonna have them in the inventory. Cool that they gave it a blue tint on this one. So what's it say on here? Okay, monster cold immunity is centered. So that just means that it's going to be able to be... You're going to be able to do damage with that... Damage type. I'm curious to see what they go for around the community. This is definitely going to be a reason to play ladder in my opinion. Hope my squeaky chair isn't showing up too much on the mic right now. Crack of the heavens. I think they could have used a better a better name. <laughs> People are gonna be having game names titled I Got That Crack. <laughs> you already know that's gonna happen. People are gonna be making posts, I got that crack. Found that crack. Who's got crack? You know it's gonna happen. Bone break. This one. These. Oof. The poison one might be overpowered as fuck, but it also. This one's interesting to me because this might actually really open up a whole lot of, um, well, I don't know. I gotta test and see if it affects the actual speed of poison damage or anything like that, or like their actual resistance to it, but they did say that it calculates before resistance. So depending on certain things, this could actually be used on certain builds other than necromancers and stuff and maybe make something viable maybe not maybe it's really gonna be good on here poison javazon and stuff like that that'll be pretty cool so I think we've seen all of them except for except for this one Okay, so it's called Black Cleft, it's not called Black Crack. That's <laughs> good. I guess they figured that 75 negative magic resistance would be too much. I don't know. I'm curious to see how much these are going to go for within trading and everything though let me actually go take a look at the notes did they did they post notes let me see if they posted notes
So this is probably the same notes that they had on Blizzard Japan, except now here. So they... So yeah, six different types of them. And those were all the ones that we looked at. And then it says, if a mon sundered means the monster immunity to a specific damage, their resistance will be reduced to 95% regardless of their percentage. So, it's, I don't think it's going to be overpowered unless there's some kind of bug going on. In my opinion, there's not. I mean, now, now a lot of classes that needed infinity won't need infinity. And classes that even with infinity couldn't pierce the resistance now are going to be viable. So I think this is really... This is the type of thing that opens up build diversity, not nerfing things. Something like this. I think this was a good way to go about it, and I look forward to seeing how it plays, as well as seeing how rare it is. And I also want to see... how valuable they are and everything like that so yeah i'm gonna put it to the test a little bit today and then get back to you guys with another video soon so i'll catch y'all later subscribe if you want to see more